Systems for Sustainable Community Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 246. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 246, December 10th, 2017 edition. Let's talk about systems for sustainable community creation. This is really what One Community is creating. And if you look at everything happening in the background here, the different village models, the open source education program, the highest good lifestyle aspects of it, social architecture, highest good economic models, all of these things are being put together to create a complete model of systems for sustainable community creation, covering all aspects of the human experience to create a sustainable civilization that will benefit all life on this planet. We believe that if we can make sustainable community creation easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And a self-replicating model like that can transform life on this planet to a sustainable world that is good for everyone and everything living here. That seems to make a lot of sense. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing all of the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to make that possible, to build the systems for sustainable community creation as individual components that can be replicated individually or put together as a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub model for teaching others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Creating a self-replicating model that is open source, free shared, and designed specifically to launch additional open source and free shared models and expand the complete sustainability suite that we are developing. So each aspect of the model is a separate system and the complete model is also a system that puts all those separate systems together. And so we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. We're creating open source systems for each of those. And we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability. And we're creating systems for each of those as well. And we've identified those as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting all this together is an evolution of sustainability and a complete system for sustainable community creation that can be replicated anywhere in the world. And building a global cooperative and a global collaborative of organizations working together to further enhance the model, further develop the model, and to create spin-off versions of it that could be completely different than one community. And one community, as a prototype, is meant to be a place that people will be able to come and visit, experience everything that one community is, the complete system put together and all the individual components, and so that people that visit that and experience it can take what they see and what they like and replicate it. And that may be an individual component, or it may be the complete model all put together as a teacher demonstration hub so that people can build their own sustainable community or implement a sustainable community within an urban environment that takes a component like the education model or the energy models, food models, and puts that into place as a community model as well. Because our belief is that sustainable communities, and I don't mean complete eco-villages, sustainable communities, communities coming together with sustainable ideas, working together to create a more sustainable way of living, a more sustainable education model, a more sustainable economic model, sustainable food, energy, you name it. Any of these aspects that people are coming together with a consciousness for the highest good of all, and this is what our organization is all about, is bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet. People willing to do their best to create and live for the highest good of all life on this planet, bringing those people together to create these open source and free shared systems and sharing these systems so that others can take them and implement them as well. We believe that if we build that foundation, that open source suite, and we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. We can transform this world into a sustainable planet within our lifetime. How is that possible? Do the math. Imagine an organization as our organization starts with 50 people and it ultimately will build to thousands and hosting hundreds of thousands annually. But if just 50 people start one community and that inspires two additional groups of 50 people each to also start 
a teacher demonstration hub, their own systems for sustainable community creation. And those two, well, those three working together, the initial and two more, then inspire four more, and those four inspire eight more, and then 16, and then 32, and 64, and so on and so forth. If you run the math on that process, Within 30 years, we could live in a completely sustainable world. We can regenerate this planet. We can redesign the concept of living to be a sustainable one that provides more of what people want right now. This is possible within our lifetime, and this is what One Community is dedicated to. We're an all-volunteer, all-unpaid, non-profit organization, non-governmental organization, creating open source and free shared blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living, which is living for the best of everybody and everything on this planet, doing our absolute best to create for the highest good of life on this planet, all life on this planet, and open sourcing and free sharing it all so that others can take it, replicate it, modify it, adapt it, do it better. If there's a better way to do it, that's great. That's our goal. Global transformation within our lifetime, and everybody's invited to participate in whatever way works best for them, thanks to the Open Source Foundation. This is what we're up to. So with all that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of systems for sustainable community creation. Designing these systems, open sourcing and free sharing these systems. Here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments developing this. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we designed all the equipment for the kids' playground, as shown here. Additionally, the core team finished revisions to the Straw Bale Village pages of the online book we are creating and added the finished pages to the website as click to enlarge images. You can see these new additions here. And the core team continued working on the Murphy Bed instructions, working on page 6.3.2 wall frame panels assembly page to match the other pages, as shown here. The core team also finished the first half of updating the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 open source hub. This included all new menus, formatting, and updated content covering the what, why, and description sections for every structure within this village, as shown here. Sungum Stanzik, PhD in PE, continued researching and contacting companies for the hardware we'll be using to sterilize the gray water from the communal eco showers. Heymanth Kotaru, Structural Engineering Master's student, completed his 13th week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was flooring construction details and beginning the research needed for structural engineering analysis of the domes themselves. Ashwini Ramesh, Civil Engineer and Project Manager, helped write additional descriptions and updated the cost analysis spreadsheets for the Earthbag Village equipment and materials. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer finished his 65th week helping with the compressed Earthbox Village design and render details. This week's focus was the work leading to this final render of Zone 17, Central Play and Recreation Area, which can also now be viewed on the website. Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 11th week volunteering. This week's focus was continuing work on the compressed Earthbox Village materials cost analysis by completing version 1.0 of the cost analysis and the associated narrative and pie charts shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are his edits and updates to his live and dead load tutorial as it's being reviewed with another engineer. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his fourth week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus 
was examining the cooling tonnage per square foot from previous analysis, viewing the cooling load calculation procedure, and researching and choosing coolcalc.com as our online heat load calculator. Aruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, also continued working on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was finishing review of the wind and seismic load data, some of which you can see here. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his 14th week volunteering with the team. This week's focus was continuing the analysis process for updating the Highest Good Energy page with more additions to the City Center kitchen equipment list and version 2.0 of the complete details for the Earthbag Village, both of which you can see here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 60th week of work on the lighting specifics for the City Center. This week's focus was finishing updates to the lighting zones in AutoCAD, which we now have added to the website. Satish Ravindran, senior mechanical and industrial engineer, also completed his third week helping with the lead lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was double checking and updating the lighting zone details. The green columns in the image shown here are Satish's new work and calculations. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the formulas and data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, bringing it to approximately 75% completion, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we created the formatting and began entering the content for the objective data and analysis page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team began the process of officially launching One Community's Instagram page. We downloaded all the best images from our website and created our initial strategy for uploading. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Priti Kodari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, they developed Schema version 2.0, got Priyanka up to speed on the basics of the app, and updated aggregate queries in MongoDB to reflect changes in the modal from time log to time entry. The pictures shown here are from their weekly call discussing all this. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards systems for sustainable community creation for the benefit of all life on this planet. Working to the best of our ability to create for the highest good of all in a sustainable and open source way. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of hours that have gone into this work, and everything is open source and free shared on our website. If you'd like to see an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to follow our progress. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. About 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to follow and share our information. Uh, help us get the word out. Whatever way works best for you, though, for following us, that is an option. Uh, and, of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. We are a 100% volunteer organization, as I already said. We are a nonprofit, uh, unpaid organization. I'm not paid for what it is I'm doing. I'm a volunteer as well. And everybody on our team is a volunteer. So the donations that we get, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $20 donations, the occasional $100 donations, those things make a really big difference in covering our operational expenses. And none of it goes to salaries or wages. 
It goes 100% to forwarding our open source mission. So if you're somebody who's donated to our organization, thank you. Thank you for the support. If you're somebody that's shared our information on social media, thank you. Thank you for the support. Getting our information out there is the easiest way to help us out. If you want an even easier way than sharing, you can just go to our Facebook page, go to our LinkedIn page, and just like all of our posts. That is also a great way to support us. Or even our YouTube channel, just like all of our posts. Those, those kinds of things do make a big difference. So with that said, thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the emails that we get. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.